All right, guys, so here we are in Premiere Pro, and I've already pulled in some footage here to show you an example of how we can fix footage when it's the wrong size, when it's a different size from your sequence settings. Um, and if you have a mixture of footage here that's all different sizes, how you can quickly go in and resize this footage um, with simply clicking a few buttons. This happens a lot when you're using different cameras that shoot at different frame sizes or if you might be using photos in your project as those often have different frame sizes and aspect ratios than um, footage does. The camera shoots real-time 4K at a different size than it shoots slow motion. So when my camera does slow motion, as you can see, it's a smaller frame size than the real-time footage. So this happens to me a lot, and so I've explored these functions a little bit and just wanted to share with you some quick ways that you can change it. So go ahead and right-click on the clip that you want to change first, and you're going to see two different options down here, scale to frame size and set to frame size. Let's go ahead and click set to frame size here, and you'll see that very quickly it readjusted the size of my clip to fit the size of the frame. Let's go down here to this other example and let's see what happens if we click scale to frame size. It looks like the same thing, right? It's scaled up to fit the size of our sequence settings. But let's take a look at what the differences are here. Remember this one was the set to frame size. If you go up here to where it says scale, it says our scale is at 200, which makes sense because we did scale it up to what looks like twice the size. However, if we go down here to this clip where we set it to say scale to frame size, it's still saying that our scale is 100. So what is the difference here? What's happening? Technically speaking, this is rasterizing the clip to the resolution of the sequence frame size. I know that sounds really complicated, but basically what it means is that it artificially told Premiere Pro, told the computer that this is 100% the correct scale. This is what we shot it in. This is the right frame size. The problem is that it artificially did that. It rasterized it. So what that means is there's going to be pixelation. There's going to be a reduction in quality here. If we were to zoom into this image here, you would see a lot more noise and pixelation than you would if we were to zoom into this example over here. Um, the same is true when you're using photos. So as a rule of thumb, you always want to use set to frame size if you're scaling up like we are here instead of scale to frame size. Scale to frame was a feature that was designed to take large clips and scale them down. So by enabling scale to take away any oversized frames, it would throw away all the extra pixels, which would speed up the processing time of your computer, but again, it will hurt the quality of your footage. So again, you really never want to pick scale to frame size. You always want to click set to frame size. Now that we've covered those features, let's talk about some even quicker ways that you can implement them into your project because this can become really tedious if you're doing these one by one in a large project. Um, one way is by setting up a keyboard shortcut and you'll just go up here to Premiere Pro and click on keyboard shortcuts. You're gonna type in set to frame and then over here, you'll see it says set to frame. If you don't have a shortcut set up already, what you wanna do is make sure your cursor is right under that shortcut area and you want to double click. And you can just go ahead and type in whatever shortcut makes sense for you. So let's try option S. And if you're happy with that, you can click okay. And now we have a keyboard shortcut option S. Make sure your frame is highlighted and click option S and there we go keyboard shortcut another way that you can do this if you know that you are starting a project where you're going to be importing all different types of sizes from different cameras and such you can go ahead and set Premiere Pro up to do this for you so you never even have to go through this process that's probably the quickest and easiest way to do this in bulk and it's really easy so all you have to do is go up here to Premiere Pro go to preferences Click on media, come on over to default media scaling and select set to frame size, hit OK. And now what will happen is when you import new footage over here into your project, it's already going to set it to your correct frame size according to your sequence. So that's a really nice feature to have if you know that you're setting up a project with lots of different sizes here. 
One other quick thing, in case you don't know already, this might be obvious, but for some of you you may not know, you can actually copy and paste your properties over here. For example, this is a little bit too small. The aspect ratio is different than the aspect ratio of 4K, so I actually need to scale this up a little bit more to get rid of those black bars on the sides. But how do I do that across all of my clips? Make sure that your top motion property is selected here and hit Command C for copy and then select one or all of the clips that you want to match and you can paste those properties on here by hitting Command V. That way if you have multiple clips that you want to be this size you can just go ahead and highlight those and copy and paste. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tip for today. If you have any other questions about this or about editing in Premiere Pro, please leave those in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and I love responding, so I'd be happy to make more tutorials about specific questions that you have in the future. Thanks for watching.